Away we warm welcome to another session of Sprint X for ICC 10. Today we are going to get started with our third session for the Indian National Movement. So as you know, we have already finished the first two sessions. If you have not seen that already, please do go and watch it. I am Ankana, your master teacher for social sciences at Vidant, hoping all of you guys are doing absolutely fine and amazing. So let's get started without wasting any time. So guys, this is the, the, uh, the list of the topics that we were supposed to finish from the Indian National Movement. As you know, we have already done the first three in the first two sessions. Today, we are going to finish up the entire chapter with second phase of Indian National Movement and the Muslim League. But before that, let's have a quick look at the schedule for sprint sessions. So here is your schedule, Bachapari. This is for physics with a noob, sir. As you can see, uh, all of us have started with our sessions. This is for chemistry with Anubha, ma'am. With Gopal, sir, this is for maths. And this is for biology with Ambika, ma'am. For social science with me. And for English with Shweta, ma'am. Amazing. Chalo. So on that note, guys, do not forget to hit the like button. Hit the like button right now. I can see, I've seen that likes what come on, yeah? likes are very less. So come on, hit the like button right now if you are excited for the sprint sessions. Do not forget to keep sharing the video with your friends and stay subscribed to the channel so that whenever new videos come, you do not miss on any of the sprint sessions for any of the subjects and are absolutely prepared for your Final exams, both amazing children. So let's rock. Let's have a quick look at your homework question. The question was, what is the name of the newspaper? So Rindu Nath Banerjee edited, but the name of the newspaper is C. Bengali. Okay, and uh, top comments. So the reason we are picking the top comments is just to uh, show our gratitude, which we always keep saying that we want students also to express, every human should express. So I just want to express my gratitude because I cannot say enough about uh, the motivation and the great, feel, you know, the great feeling that I get when I read your comments, guys. And trust me, post every video after almost 24 hours, I go, I check all the comments that's there. I take up all the feedbacks that's there. I take up all the positivity that's there. I, I have new learnings and it just makes me feel so, so good. So, Kushi Jha, Shri Ram Kali, Pranjali uh, Shinde, Crafty Ideas with Gaurav and PK Gamer, all of you for that matter, everyone out there who's always given me the motivation, who's given me the right push and, uh, you know, has always been so sweet and positive. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, uh, it's an honor for Vedantu to have you students over here, to have the students on the platform. And it's an honor to be able to help you guys, to teach you guys. And the way you have motivated us, inspired us is just, uh, uh, I think, beyond words that we can express. So just uh, a note of gratitude. Thank you so much. Let's move on forward with another beautiful quotation. Which says, make your life a masterpiece. Imagine no limitations on what you can be, have or do. So never limit yourself. I think that's what I was discussing yesterday also, that all the limitations that we have are, is there in our mind. Never limit yourself, guys. Whatever you imagine yourself to be, you can be. So imagine yourself to be the best piece of art, the best piece of work nature could have created, which has no limitations. There is no, uh, you know, uh, limit. There is no line beyond which you cannot go. I mean, like in positive terms, okay, not in negative terms. Uh, in terms of your potential. So always, always believe in yourself. I think self-confidence and self-belief is the key. And believing that there is no limitations, there is no stopping you, there's nothing in you which will act as an obstacle, there's nothing in life which will act as an obstacle and just keep going. You guys will rock it. And let's rock together today's session. Let's get started with the very first question, guys. As you can see, it's a two marker question. Ye do marker sawal hai. Normally, you would take three to four minutes in exam. We're going to finish it in two minutes over here within two minutes. Now, ideally, I would say at least mention two points if it's a question which has two points. Let's say there are two questions which just requires one, one line. Enough. 
stick to 30 uh, to 40 words at max uh, and just try to wind it up in that okay so now we're supposed to write to uh sh you know in short to contributions of bal ganga the tilak so as i told you bacha we'll stick to 30 to 40 words we'll try to stick to 30 to 40 words and we'll make two points anyways the question over here has clearly asked which many a times may not happen you may just be asked that in short describe uh, some contributions of bal ganga the tilak so you can maybe probably in one one line uh describe his three contributions or just two properly described okay so but your demand for swaraj now we know we have moved beyond early nationalists now new nationalists have come who are more assertive who are radical bal gangadhar tilak being one of them uh, he had asked for complete swaraj right full uh, swaraj swaraj right which means own uh, uh, independent uh, ruling so he had asked he was the first to openly say swaraj is my birthright and i shall have it so he started this whole wave of swaraj you could say in a way where people got this idea that it is our right and not that we are asking for something which does not belong to us this is something that belongs to us okay he also established home rule league he set up the league in pune in 1916 to attain self-government within the british empire by constitutional means so this was kind of a follow-up of swaraj you can write anything these are two points that i have mentioned as you can see bacha it has been you know uh winded up in a short answer not more than which has gone beyond 40 votes moving on to the second question write in short two contributions of lala lajpat Rai. so now we are supposed to talk about lala lajpat Rai. so again the same band uh this is also a two marker question now see over here again it has been specified to it's if it's not specified to two we will write in some other way as i've told you right uh basically in a paragraph or something but talk about two to three contributions in short so lala rajpat Rai was an educationist and a forceful writer who started a monthly magazine called young india to spread the message to the right to Swaraj for Indians. So all the radicals, all the new nationalists, they were completely uh, obsessed with the idea of Swaraj, which is a very good thing. That is what I think has given us a great positive start. And they made that wave go beyond a group of people and actually spread out in the entire nation. And he was also a social reformer to open orphanages, hospitals, schools. He also set up people's society for welfare of downtrodden and outcasts in the society. Socially looked down upon those people he used to help them as well. So not just for the welfare of the country in general, but specific society, people who were socially outcasted or looked down upon, not treated equally, was something that he also very, uh, you know, actively worked towards as a social reform moving on to the third question right in short two contributions of bipin chandrapal bipin chandrapal ki contributions ki mein batana hai but your bipin chandrapal as an educationist wanted national education to be the base of the freedom movement see i told you no matter who everyone actually was focusing on national education right he was also a reformer who opposed caste system other rigid rules of casteism and untouchability he also advocated widow remarriage so mostly you will see guys that these people were very progressive in nature okay uh they had a very progressive and open mindset and they actually wanted to get rid of the social evil practices which existed so Joby social practices exist Kartiti. They wanted to just get done with it. All of them. Most of the activists that you would see, nationalists that you would see, because also they were educated, was one reason that their exposure was of a different level. And they were more progressive and more open to such changes, which a lot of other people in general, the typical traditional conventional people were not. Okay. Now, uh, I have something for you which is the Vedanta Pro subscription. 
सो गाइज वॉट इज सो स्पेशल अबाउट द सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड यू माइंड भी थिंकिंग यार मैम ये हमेशा क्यों बताती है वाई डज शी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट दिस बिकॉज बच्चा इन एवरी सेशन देर आर ऑलवेज न्यू स्टूडेंट्स और दिस अ प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव वॉच द वीडियोज बिफोर मे हैव मिस्ड ऑन दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन बट वी कैन नॉट लेट दिस गेट मिस्ड बिकॉज वी नो हाउ यूजफुल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल योर सेशंस बच्चो इज गोइंग टू बी लाइव it's going to be live learning for all the sessions through this subscription now i've seen a lot of times people are saying that ma'am why are you bringing sprint and premier why don't you come live ma'am this session why have you not come live ma'am i missed this session i wanted to see it live why why do i see so many comments about live sessions why do you see so many comments about live sessions because it does make a difference it makes a difference to interact with each other and imagine when you have such live sessions which is unlimited in number it's not like youtube that you have only five sessions and three will be live or this teacher will come live at this time where you cannot because this session the sessions with vidanta pro subscription is going to be live throughout the day all the sessions are going to be live so whichever slot is useful for you you go ahead and choose that slot for yourself and you can always attend to these live sessions that's the best part of it second best part of it is that all the quizzes you know so you always wait for menti ma'am hamara menti war kab hoga when will this happen this is not happening i want to attend menti does this session have menti but the good thing is that all the sessions over there will have something like menti even better all the sessions are going to have fun and high level quizzes which this quizzes is going to give you an opportunity to compete with the students throughout the world so you're not just competing with few students you're getting amount of just imagine the amount of exposure that you're getting by competing with the students one of which few of which are in dubai let's say if you is uh, australia uk us wherever whoever in different parts of india also is you get to compete with all of these students how amazing is that so that uh, is something again that you have to uh, you know that's going to be super amazing uh, then of course uh, something else that is there so what else is there is that every quiz after uh, you know uh, it is over you're going to have a fastest finger list which is super amazing and at the end of it you'll have leaderboards as well but what if you miss these live sessions even if you miss these miss this live sessions you have an option to watch the replay but replays are usually very boring right you will feel like again it's the same thing it's like premed sessions it's not live it's boring but guys it's not going to be boring anymore because you have something called alternative uh, live session your alternative replays wherein what happens that all these quizzes that you have missed because of the live session you still get to attend it you still get to play those quizzes but the best part is that your name can still now even now be reflected on the leaderboards super amazing right it, even if you've missed the live sessions even in replays you can if you're scoring more than other students get your name on the leaderboard and see it for yourself how amazing and then of course content is something that i don't need to tell a talk about you guys are already fan of the content and you are uh, you know all of these content is going to be available with handwritten notes of the master teachers now next ax, uh, aspect which i really really admire is that all uh, of your uh, doubts will be taken now it may be possible that may not all of the doubts would necessarily in subjects like maths or physics be solved immediately because then problems numericals but in general uh, uh, for example in english social science uh, or probably in chemistry and bio also the doubts that you give with the help of class teachers the master teachers everyone together solves all your doubts and every session is followed up with some assignment which gives you an opportunity to actually check your understanding what have you understood how much have you understood do you still have questions and you can again go back and attend all of those sessions if you still have questions through micro courses just in case if you've not understood a particular topic a particular chapter you want to revise it but sure, there are micro sessions specific to those chapters right so you can always go and attend that you have crash courses we have just started so many crash courses to revise your entire syllabus in a span of a month or two before your board exams and all of this is going to be absolutely free with the vedantu pro subscription making less a lot more 
कम अब बहुत ज्यादा होने वाला है द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इट इज ऑल्सो प्रिंट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन ए के ई पी आर ओ इज द कोड बच्चो वी डी एन टी डॉट आई एन स्लैश वाई टी प्रो इज ऑल्सो वन प्लेस वेयर यू कैन गो एंड एक्चुअली सब्सक्राइब do not forget to use the code if you actually do the calculation this is what it will come to 2159 what it uh, it will come to if you actually divided by 200 so 200 sessions is what you will get you get only it costs you only 11 rupees per session like how awesome how awesome is that and it's just available at a discount for you guys especially guys do not forget to use the code akpro when you use the code go on the link in the description box it's also been in the comment section you get to see what happens what happens but you you get to see the discount and you get subscribed to the subscription and you became a part of the live session so i would love to have you guys in the live sessions revise the whole syllabus and get you all prepped up till your final exams with us so you also i mean like this is one step that you guys have to take okay now let's move on to the next part question number 4 we have started with three marker questions okay what were the perspectives by the nationalists behind the partition of bengal why was the partition of bengal happening first of all but your partition was uh, of bengal was happening because in bengal a whole rise you know a whole it, it was like the breeding ground of nationalists okay it was breeding ground of nationalists a lot of nationalists were rising up from here so it was getting very very challenging it was becoming a huge challenge for the british government to deal with these nationalists so they did not know what to do and bengal was a huge province okay it was huge so what they said they said that let's do one thing let's divide it on the basis of religious differences instead of language or any other cultural difference so that bengalis become minority in their own land and start getting conscious and that will affect their leadership and nationalists will not be born but the excuse that they gave was that they're doing it because it's such a huge province that it gets difficult to actually rule this so this was the excuse that was given by them but everyone all the nationalists all the people were able to understand what they really were doing and they were very strongly opposing it be it surendranath banerji be it anyone everyone was very strongly opposing it okay but they did not listen and they still went ahead with the partition so the indian nationalists clearly saw the design behind the partition and condemned it they did not appreciate it it was a deliberate attempt to divide the bengalis on religious and territorial grounds and thereby disrupt and weaken nationalism in india as i told you it was the breeding ground right so they thought that if they actually do this it will weaken it will weaken the whole rising up and coming up of above the nationalists however that did not work announcement of partition was made without any regard for the public opinion so the britishers did not take anything in regard which naturally hurt the sentiments of the sentiments uh, you know sensitive bengalis and this is what they knew and all the plan failed because instead of actually uh, putting the spirits down they further aggravated Okay moving on to the next question what were the objectives of the radicals radicals what did they want we definitely know that swaraj was one thing that they said that hey this is something that we are not going to sit with right so they definitely wanted to get larger share for indians in administration that was definitely one thing what was the method pressure tactics and some sort of direct action also they were not just being very constitutionally agitated but they were being very very assertive about what they wanted they used to force it they used to take actions to make that movement happen they adopted policy of non cooperation and resisted to unjust acts of the british government so they did start non cooperation right so guys that is why we say that they were not constitutionally aligned as such to the britishers they did used to break the rules they did used to defy them so they used to defy the britishers and that way provide resistance to the government okay next 
they also came up with a lot of slogans like non cooperation passive resistance mass agitation self reliance etc they were also talking about people becoming self reliant self dependent not depending on anything else and of course the target to achieve was to end the british economic exploitation and also sp uh, speak about swaraj so again bachcho this was a three marker question you can see that we have given five pointers see three would have been enough but because we are making short points go up to five or six at least four to five points okay moving on to the next question it's again a three marker question what were the objectives of the muslim league bachcho it was not very different from the objectives of other people but also the idea for them was to empower uh the muslims because they were in minority okay so because they were in minority they felt that if they get some political exposure it will also help them get empowered but they were also in favor of getting rid of the british rule okay so to promote feelings of loyalty among the muslims of india towards the british government and to remove any misconception that may arise as to the intentions of the government with regard to indian muslims to protect and advance the political rights of muslims of india and to represent their needs and aspirations of government to prevent the rise of feelings of hostility between muslims and uh, of india and other communities these are the main objectives that they were operating with okay moving on to the next question it's a four marker question but you on uh, almost 6 to 7 minutes you would need at least in your exam will wind it up within 5 minutes now what is the question briefly discuss the four methods adopted by radicals so we have discussed few we have discussed about their objectives we'll also discuss about few methods that was adopted by them so the methods adopted them uh, by the radicals can be grouped into four things swadeshi it means producing unnecessary uh, sorry producing necessary items basically make in india right swadeshi movement boycotting everything that was britishers so boycott all that was foreign theek hai boycott all foreign products and have everything like make in india we have that's what they spoke about so producing everything that was important that could be in own country and using them for once use without being dependent on imported goods so that we could cut off ties with britishers and make them also economically handicapped as much as possible because they were getting an economic rise by selling their products and we were buying those boycotting as i told you a follow up of the same thing economic boycott of british goods and new swadeshi was designed to encourage indian industries and provide the people with more opportunities for employment it also provide uh, you know it also proved to be the most effective way to harm the british in india as i told you they had started economically getting a little uh, handicapped we were cutting off their flow of money the national education so they wanted participation and involvement right everyone all the nationalists for that matter participation of indians in different different government institutions as much as possible right for this what what was important it was important for people to be educated in order to be actively participative so they wanted to everyone uh, for everyone to be educated so national education a national scheme of education was planned to replace british government controlled universities to national universities free from government control they were unfazed by any threats of british to take disciplinary actions against the students and then of course passive resistance radicals believed in non violence they were definitely not violent and vigorous political action to reach their goal they pleaded people to boycott any government services like courts schools and colleges they advocated courage self confidence and spirit of sacrifice to achieve their goal of swaraj basically not cooperating with the britishers not participating with the britishers not working for the britishers not working with the britishers anything of this sort any involvement with them had to be stopped and that was their passive resistance and when required they also used to kind of force with active actions that they used to take their decision and demands on the britishers Le next question what were the main causes of partition of bengal 
so but sure it's very simple to understand we have kind of understood this but, but this is a uh, you know a uh, four marker question correct so let's quickly look at it the main uh, causes behind the partition of bengal were but sure this is uh, don't get confused by this this is a four marker question it's just a slight error it will ideally take you seven uh, six to seven minutes will wind up within five minutes okay <coughs> The main causes behind the partition of Bengal were administrative necessity. That's at least what the British said, right? British said that the province of Bengal was too big to be efficiently uh, administrated by a single provincial government. Bengal was the nerve center of the Indian nationalism at that time. So the British hoped to stop the rising tide of nationalism by partitioning Bengal. The partition of the state was intended to curb Bengali uh, Bengali inf uh, influence, okay, uh, to curb Bengali influence uh, by placing Bengalis under administrations, by reducing them into a minority uh, in Bengal itself, in their own land itself. It was meant to foster division on the basis of religion and East Bengal would be predominantly a Muslim majority state and West Bengal with Hindu majority, which we still see. Bangladesh, which is East, it's mostly now it has got divided, right? In a different country, but has most of the Muslim population, whereas West Bengal or Orissa, this part has the Hindu population, right? So this was the whole idea, right? To curb the Bengali influence by, and not influenced, influence by, okay? So, but sure, with this, we have finished the Indian National Movement. It's a very easy chapter. If you actually see it as a whole chain of events that had happened, it gets easier to visualize. And I think this probably would have helped you to club it all together and revise it together in chunk, right? So now let's look at the homework question. In which newspaper house did Bipin Chandrapal work as a journalist? Bengal Public Opinion, The Tribune, New India or all of the above. And with that, guys, let me quickly show you that yesterday we did the national, uh, the Indian National Movement Part 2. Today we have done the third part. Tomorrow we will start with mass phase of the National Movement Part 1. So do not miss any of the sessions. Do not miss the opportunity to be a part of the Vedanta Pro subscription. Use the code AKPRO. That is what will give you the amazing, amazing discount. And with that, we have finished the session. So it was a great session. I hope you guys enjoyed too. Do tell me in the comment section if this helped you or not. How are you liking the sprint sessions? If there's anything else that you would want me to add on. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Do not forget to hit the like button, but show make sure to subscribe to the channel because these sessions are going to keep going on till end of February. So you don't want to miss on any of the notifications, any of the sessions and make sure to keep sharing it with your friends so that they also don't miss on the sessions. I will see you guys very soon till the next time. Stay home, stay safe. Bye bye. Good night.